Hello and welcome to Write Revelations with me, Roxana Wright, where we talk about news events happening all over the world, which has rarely been shown in the UK mainstream media. This week is going to be slightly different because we're going to be talking about a story which has made national newspapers. However, we're going to be talking about it because I have a bit more of a personal connection to the story and a bit more of an insight as to what happened um, in the story in a bit more detail. Of course, this story is the story of Kathleen Stock, who is a philosophy teacher or was a philosophy teacher at the University of Sussex, which is the university that I am currently attending. And the whole entire story is based around the controversy of finding out that Kathleen Stock is a trustee of an alliance called the LGB Alliance. The controversy doesn't revolve around the LGB Alliance's fight for no discrimination or anti-discrimination against people who are gay or a lesbian or, or bisexual but more around their views on gender identity there's been also a lot of controversy around how the university acted towards this newfound knowledge and how students reacted and what happened as a result in the end so let's get into it as I have just stated, Kathleen Stock is a trustee at the LGB Alliance, which his main focus is to destroy discrimination against people whose sexual orientation is not heterosexual, so homosexual or bisexual. However, this main focus is not what caused such an uproar amongst the University of Sussex students. It was actually their views on gender identity. Recently, the LGB Alliance released a statement which was focused around the rumours that the government were going to drop previous proposals on the Gender Recognition Act. And in this statement, I can quote, the protections afforded our rights as LGB people in the Equality Act 2010 are rooted in simple, clear definitions of biology, i.e. that there are only two sexes, male and female, not some multitude of genders on a gender spectrum. Gay people are same sex attracted, not same gender attracted. Therefore, the previous plan to enshrine the concept of a vague and multifaced gender identity into law would have spread confusion and would inevitably have been a threat to our rights. That was meant to put on the statement of the LGB Alliance website. And further in the statement, they say that they are not transphobic, even though they have been called that in the past and have been labelled that by many people outside of the Alliance. And I can quote from the statement as well. We do not accept that it is transphobic to back scientific reality or to ensure that the law reflects that reality. Kathleen Stock has also come out and stated that she is also not transphobic. However, this did cause a backlash amongst university students saying that her views were transphobic and not only transphobic, but also discriminated against people who identify as non-binary. Now, how did the University of Sussex react to this massive controversial situation that we found ourselves in? So the Vice Chancellor, Adam Tickle, sent multiple emails to all of the students at the University of Sussex, myself included, saying that the University of Sussex has vigorously and unequivocally defended her right to exercise her academic freedom and lawful freedom of speech free from bullying and harassment. I'm just going to focus on that last bit really quickly because about the bullying and harassment, because even though you know, you may agree or disagree with how the university reacted, that, you know, she wasn't fired, you may disagree with her viewpoints. It doesn't matter what opinion you have about the topic. It is fundamentally wrong to be receiving death threats, bullying and harassment of any kind um, in general. And it is a shame that Kathleen Stock felt unsafe and she was unable to come into the University of Sussex to work because she felt unsafe through all the bullying and harassment that she received from a multitude of students. So I just want to state that, you know, just to put that out there, that's the only opinion I want to give in this video. And now back to the other bit. There was a lot of controversy around how the University of Sussex reacted. A lot of people wanted her to be fired. And a lot of people also backed up the university, including massive figures like Boris Johnson. So this is the major question of this video is whether the, free, the lawful freedom of speech is more important than students feeling safe and wanted and you know validated and in their place of education you know students have come to university and paid nine grand a year they do not want to feel insufficient or inadequate in their place of education if their teacher do not agree does not agree with their gender identity and does not want to use their chosen pronouns or is it more important to have freedom of speech it is a massive conversation which I've heard a multitude of opinions about from students and from teachers and people in general and yeah maybe take back 
take a little step back and think about what you how you think the university should have reacted what you think the best way to go about this whole situation was because it is a very new situation you know 10 years ago this wouldn't have been a massive issue we've become very progressive in the last five years and there's been such a massive change in terms of gender identity and pronouns uh, the use of people changing their pronouns and non-binary people all of that it has become a massive leap from five years ago and we wouldn't be, have been facing this in the past this is very much a new issue so lots of people have a multitude of opinions about this so yeah maybe you think about what you'd what you would have suggested anyway what did happen in the end was Catherine Stock quit her job as I think probably would have been for the best as she was receiving such a large amount of death threats um you know as a student myself you'd walk into the girls' cubicles and there'd be messages all over the wall about Kathleen Stock, you know, should be fired and then other opinions around the entire um, situation. So it's a really difficult topic, but I hope you've had a little think about it because it is very much a difficult one. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did take something from this video, um, especially about the main questions about freedom of speech and being a teacher in um, the current climate that we find ourselves in around LGBTQ plus rights. Um, if you do want to have a read of some people's opinions on this topic, I've listed a few here which I found particularly interesting. Uh, so go have a little read. Thank you so much. Bye.